Cincinnati 4-3 in Candlestick Park. In the bottom of the third inning, with Brett Butler on first base, Rick Leach smashes his first home run of the season. San Francisco trails 3-2, RBIs 12 and 13 for Rick Leach. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Cincinnati still leading 3-2. Brett Butler at the plate. He singles to left field, scoring Terry Kennedy from third base, tying the game at three apiece. That's the 27th RBI of the season for Brett Butler. It remained that way until the bottom of the seventh inning. Runners on first and second. Will Clark at bat. And the thrill would hit into a 4-6-3 double play. But on the play, Brett Butler would score what would be the winning run as San Francisco defeated Cincinnati 4-3 to close the gap in the National League West to eight and a half games. In San Diego, Art Howe and his Houston Astros losing to the San Diego Padres 8-2. In the top of the third inning, Eric Yelding singles to center field. Javier Ortiz attempting to score. Joe Carter with a good throw to the plate. Mark Parent with the tag on Ortiz. And Ortiz is out at the plate as well as out of this game. Ortiz suffered an injury to his left knee. He is on the field in obvious pain after colliding with Mark Parent at the plate on the throw from Joe Carter. Taking another look at the play, Joe Carter with a good strong throw. Mark Parent with plenty of time to set and apply the tag. But as you'll notice, Ortiz collides with Parent's knee and the shin guard, and Ortiz had to leave the game. In the bottom of the fifth inning, San Diego leading 2-0 on the RBI single by Tony Gwynn. Clark takes starter Mark Portugal deep. That's the 15th home run of the season for Jack Clark. A three-run shot. San Diego leading 5-0. They were going to win it 8-2. Olympic Stadium, Montreal, Canada. Chicago visiting the Montreal Expos. Expos winning in extra innings 3-2. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Cubs leading 2 to nothing. Marquise Grissom with this bloop single into center field. It's misplayed by Marvell Wynn. The line on the shield scores. Cubs lead it 2-1. 14th RBI of the season for Marquise Grissom. Still in the bottom of the sixth inning, Tim Raines at the plate. Marquise Grissom on second base. Raines would bloop this double down the line in left field. Marquise Grissom would come in to score from second base, tying the game at two apiece. That's RBI number 34 for Tim Raines. The game would remain tied going into the 10th inning. In the 10th inning, Delano DeShields on third, representing the winning run. Tim Raines at the plate on the mound for the Cubs reliever, Mitch Williams. Raines would single off the wall in left field. Delano DeShields would score the winning run. RBI number 35 for Tim Raines as the Expos win it in extra innings over the Cubs, 4-3. to three. Mitch Williams takes the loss. He's 1-6. Tim Burt got the win for the Expos. His record goes to 1-1. One big win by the Expos as they pick up a game on Jim Leland and his Pittsburgh Pirates who are playing host to the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies win it 12 to 4. In the top of the first inning, Tommy Hurwitz tripled down the line in right field. Lenny Dykstra and Dickie Thon would score. Phillies take an early 2-0 lead. Those are RBIs 42 and 43 for Tommy Hur. Still in the first inning, Phillies leading 3-0. Charlie Hayes at the plate. He takes left-hander Neil Heaton deep for his seventh home run of the season. RBI is 38 and 39 for Charlie Hayes. The Philadelphia Phillies jump out early, five to nothing. Neil Heaton pitched only two-thirds of an inning as the Phillies jumped out on top in a hurry. In the Pittsburgh dugout, Andy Van Slyke playing a little game with the cap of pitcher Doug Drayback. And I guess it's good that the Pirates were able to maintain their sense of humor because this one was all Philadelphia with the Phillies leading 9-2. Carmelo Martinez would double down the line in left field. Booker and Bon Hayes would score. RBI is 26 and 27. Phillies lead it 11-2. They will go on to win this one 12-4. The Pirates and Mets will move into a first place tie as the Mets will win the first of two versus St. Louis 6-1. Darryl Strawberry in the dugout sporting the new hairdo. In the bottom of the third inning with the game tied at one apiece. Greg Jeffries would double into the gap in right center field. Howard Johnson would score. Mets lead it 2-1. Jeffries would score on an RBI single by Darryl Strawberry. Mets lead it 3-1. Tony Darling, wife of Mets daughter Ron Darling, as Darling picked up his fourth win of the season against five losses. Here in the sixth inning, he strikes out Todd Zeal. Darling settled down after giving up an early RBI single to Pedro Guerrero to pitch a four-hitter. In the bottom of the seventh inning with the Mets leading 4-1, Darryl Strawberry would dump this double down the line in left field. Greg Jeffries would score from first base, and the Mets would lead 5-1. The Mets would go on to win this one 6-1 and move into a first-place tie with the Pittsburgh Pirates. In game number two, 
But Harrelson and his troops had an opportunity to move into sole possession of first place. But it was not to be, as in the first inning, Rex Hudler would single up the middle of Mets starter Bobby Ojeda. Vince Coleman would score. Cardinals take an early 1-0 lead. St. Louis starter Ken Hill pitched seven and two-third innings of three-hit ball in his first start of the year as St. Louis defeated New York 3-1 to split the doubleheader and to win the first game for St. Louis in seven tries versus New York. Sky Dome in Toronto, Canada. Toronto playing host to the Kansas City Royals. Toronto wins it 7-5. In the bottom of the second inning with the bases loaded, Kevin Apier strikes out Mookie Wilson. Mike McFarlane only to need to step on home to get the force, throws the ball into the right field corner. Three runs would score. Toronto would lead it 3-1. With the score tied at four apiece in the bottom of the third inning, Mark Witten would step to the plate. He would snap this 4-4 tie with this two-run shot, his first career home run in the majors, and Toronto would go on to win this one 7-5. Tiger Stadium in Detroit, Michigan. Commissioner Faye Vincent looks on as Detroit defeats Boston 10-4 in the bottom of the sixth inning with the score 4-3. One out. Lloyd Mosby goes deep off the facing in right field in the upper deck. This long home run to go along with an RBI 